Get your appetite ready for some funnel cake, corn dogs, or any deep fried treat of your choice. And bring your walking shoes because the California Midwinter Fair and Fiesta has officially started. Joining us live from Imperial is Vanessa Congora with a glimpse at all the action going on right now. Vanessa, how's it going out there? Yes, I'm here at the grand opening of the California Midwinter Fair in Imperial. I'm here with me is Bo Shropshire, who has been part of the livestock program for about 30 years. Bo, tell me about the livestock program here. The livestock program here. Well, what's really great about this particular program? It's here to help support the 4-H and FFA kids in this valley and independent kids. Uh, let them, uh, you know, appreciate raising an animal, learning and having the responsibilities of taking care of an animal and learning all those kinds of things about it. You also, you know, take care of the, you know, purchase of the animal and, you know, do your bookkeeping and all those kinds of things. So it, it's a total program for the kids. They come in, they show these animals in a market class. Uh, so we'll have uh, swine, beef, lamb, sheep, uh, we'll have uh, goats. We also have some small animal projects, the rabbits and chickens and stuff. And the kids, in addition to, to showing those animals on a market class, then they also come back and participate in showmanship. And these kids really take showmanship to heart because it's a big deal how to handle the animals and those kinds of things. So with that, they're doing that today and tomorrow and Sunday. And then uh, once those animals have been selected in a market class, then they'll come back next weekend for our auction. So we'll have a small animal auction on Friday night, uh, which will start about 6 o'clock. And then our large animal auction will start Saturday about 10 o'clock. And so the kids are able to participate there. A lot of the kids, you know, they'll raise money to put in their college funds and those kinds of things. You know, pay for their projects, put money away for college. That's amazing. And then for the fair not being here for almost two years, what are you looking forward to now most? Well, the biggest thing is, is we're, we're tickled to death to have the, the number of kids back this year. We have about half the animals that we did in 2020. Uh, last year we did have a grading show, so the kids were able to raise an animal, but they still couldn't take them to auction. And so, it, and they didn't have showmanship, you know, classes last year. So, you know, we're, we're tickled to death to have a full fair back. Uh, you know, we get back to the numbers that we did in 2020 and be really awesome. But, but we have a really good you know, lineup of animals this year. People can come out and enjoy seeing our judges judge those animals on the hoof and then uh, handle the showmanship part of it. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much, Bo. Yeah. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can go to our website, kybaby.com, to get your tickets. Reporting in Imperial, I'm Vanessa Gangora. Back to you in the studio. Thanks. Thank you, Vanessa.